Hi, it's Susie Rhodes with Past Masters here with this week's questions of the week. This week, our questions will come from the life insurance course, section two, policy writers, provisions, options, and exclusions. Let's check out the review exam. A life insurance policy's grace period is designed to do which of the following? Ensure that the insured can purchase additional coverage regardless of health. That sounds like the guaranteed insurability rider. Provide the policy owner with a period of time that protects them in the event of an accidental policy lapse. I like that. Always read all four choices. Allows for the insurer to contest a claim. No, that would be incontestability clause. Prevent adverse selection. No. The correct answer here, provide the policy owner with a period of time that protects them in the event of an accidental policy lapse. So we know we got it right. We got that green check mark. Show explanation and then you can. A life insurance policy is grace. Listen. So the grace period, if a claim occurs during the grace period, the claim will be covered minus the overdue premium. Josh is buying a $200,000 whole life insurance policy on his own life and would like to add $100,000 term insurance policy covering his wife, Ashley. Which rider should he select? Term insurance rider, family income rider, other insured rider, or spouse rider? Spouse writers just made up to trick you. So term insurance writer would increase the face amount on Josh. This is an other insured writer. An insurance company cannot modify a policy after it has been issued due to which of the following clauses? Consideration clause. Insuring clause, entire contract clause, or incontestability clause. The entire contract clause says what is admissible in court. The entire contract is the policy plus the application and writers that are attached at policy issuance. The policy cannot be modified after issuance. The entire contract clause. When a life insurance policy includes the accelerated benefits rider, it allows for which of the following? In the event of the insured's terminal illness, a partial payout of the face amount to the insured prior to death. In the event of the insured's terminal illness, they may take out a policy loan. Triple the face amount to be paid if the insured dies from cancer. An early payout of the death benefit in the event of the beneficiary's terminal. No, it's definitely not that. So we're stuck between the two. Accelerated benefits rider is available even on term insurance. So it is a advance of the policy's face amount in the event of a terminal illness. So the face amount is less when the insured dies. Connie has completed her life insurance application. Her answers to the questions on the application are which of the following? Consideration, aleatory warranties, unilateral. I wanted representation to be the answer, but that's not there. It is part of her consideration, her premium payment, and the answers to the questions on the application, the consideration of the insured. Bobby purchased a half a million dollar life insurance policy on July 1st. She died by suicide nine months later, which of the following is true. The insurance company will reduce the face amount to $100,000. The insurance company will deny the claim. The insurance company will deny the claim and refund the premiums paid to the beneficiary. The insurance company will pay the $500,000 to her estate. Every state's going to have a suicide exclusion, which is a period of time where suicide is not covered. It varies by state. It's generally one to two years. So even if the state's suicide exclusion was one year, she did commit suicide during that year. So they are going to deny the claim, but that's not the right answer because the insurance company will refund premiums paid 
to the beneficiary. That is the most correct answer. And that is going to be your job to pick the best answer. Denise recently had a baby boy, Roman. She purchased life insurance on Roman's life. She added a rider that will keep Roman's policy in force if she should become unable to pay the premiums. Which rider did she add? Other insured rider, payer benefit rider, waiver of premium rider, or guaranteed insurability rider? Denise owns a policy on her child. She is the pay or. It is the pay or benefit rider. So waiver of premium is added to a policy owned on her own life. When you own a policy on the life of a child in the event of the payor's death or total disability, the premium is waived, the payor benefit rider. When is an insurance company allowed to include projected dividends in a life insurance proposal? When it is made clear the dividends are not guaranteed, never, anytime, at any time, with permission from the insurance commissioner. Dividends may be paid by participating policies, but they may never be guaranteed. If it is a non-participating policy, then the policyholder will never get the dividend because it will be paid to the stockholder of that insurance company. When does a life insurance policy's free look begin? Date of application, underwriter acceptance, delivery of the policy, or effective date of coverage. The free look is a period of time where the insured can return the policy, no questions asked, and get all of their money back. It does begin at the delivery of the policy. How long the free look must be varies by state and type of policy. Chelsea is considering purchasing a whole life insurance policy on her son, Mateo, age six. Her producer recommends she add the payer or benefit rider to the juvenile life insurance policy. Which of the following is true about the rider? The premiums will be waived if the child becomes disabled. The policy will not become Mateo's at any point. If the rider is enacted, the cash value will continue to grow at the same rate as before. The premiums are waived if Chelsea dies or becomes totally disabled. It is that last one. That's the whole point of the pay or benefit rider. The rider will waive the premiums on Mateo's policy should Chelsea die or become totally disabled. Until she, if she's totally disabled, the premiums are waived until she gets better. If she dies, the premiums are waived until the policy becomes Mateo's at the age of majority in that state. So 18 or 21, it depends upon the state. If this rider is enacted, the cash value will grow more slowly if it is a cash value policy. The policy is just kept in force. The insurance company is not putting money in to the general account for Mateo. Grandma Stephanie owns a life insurance policy on her grandchild, Emmett. Which rider would kick in if Stephanie should die tomorrow? Other insured rider, pay or benefit rider, child term rider, or waiver of premium rider? It is the pay or benefit rider when you own a policy on a child. Which rider protects the insured who has purchased a whole life insurance policy from an unintentional policy lapse? Non-forfeiture options, the grace period, the automatic premium loan rider, or waiver of premium rider. So let's see. A cash value policy can have the automatic premium loan rider. So all policies have a grace period, which is a period where coverage will be provided if a claim occurs during the grace period. The claim will be paid minus the overdue premium. But you can only have the automatic premium loan rider on a life insurance policy that has cash value. So after the grace period has gone by, a loan will be taken out against the policy's cash value to pay the premium, keeping the policy in force. It is a rider that is free but must be selected by the client. Marguerite owns a whole life policy with a long-term care rider. Which of the following must occur in order for Marguerite to access benefits from the rider? She must be unable to perform any of the activities of daily living. She must be age 65 or older. 
she must have been in an accident or she must be unable to perform at least two of the activities of daily living. In order for Marguerite to access the benefits from a long-term care rider, she must be unable to perform at least two of the activities of daily living. Which of the following would keep a life insurance policy from lapsing if the owner forgot to pay the premium? Consideration clause, return of premium rider, non-forfeiture options, or automatic premium loan rider. That is the one that would keep the policy from lapsing. It's only available on what type of a policy? One that has what? <gasps> Cash value, yep. Which of the following describes the premium frequency? Apply to premium, automatic premium loan, mode of payment, or waiver of premium. How frequently the policy is paid is referred to as the mode of payment. Let's finish it off. <laughs> we did it. Thank you so much for taking that Section 2 Life Insurance exam with me. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions at all, just ask me in the comments below. If you would like to check out Past Masters course offerings, there is a link in this video's description. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn those notifications on. Thank you so much for watching. Keep up the good work. Happy studies. Study. Study, study, pass!